Mandalorian, episode four. That's right. Where, where'd you go? Okay. I'm right here. So, episode four, you again are a crazy person and watch this at 3 a.m. for no reason at all. Like, so there's, the, there's, ap- so I can there's be, absolutely So I can watch it right off the bat. So I can go to, into work being able to talk about it to, with people and Whatever. such. Okay. Well, episode four, um, I didn't watch until Sunday. So forgive me my casual viewership, whatever. But uh, it was adorable. <laughs> yeah, yeah it was. The word, that was the word I could, couldn't could stop thinking of the whole uh, it's the, it was in, adorable. As soon as it came out, there were, uh, I looked online and they're like, Disney is rushing to get these products out by Christmas. I was like, damn right they should. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it was it um, was adorable through and through. What were your highlights? And did you want to go through the story? I mean, to be honest. Do you want to, you want to um, knock it all the way through, or do you want to gotta? I mean, it, it, it was. I feel like every episode has been a different feel. Yeah. Um, to it. Um, and, and this one, uh, definitely, definitely felt different. Being a different than the other ones. Being a Dragon Ball Z fan, um, I felt like this was one of the filler episodes. Um, but I don't yeah. think it, it wasn't really a filler for the fact that you didn't get anything out of it. You got a little more humanity out of the Mandalorian, and each one right. of those is slowly take, given a little bit of peace. He did take his helmet off. Congratulations. I know that's what you wanted. Yeah, but, he took he took his helmet off. <laughs> and that, that woman is like, I'm a widow, and I mean, I'm alone, but hey, big boy. She was all over it. She was ready for it. Um, she was, and she doesn't know what that looks like under there. That's true. That is true. So... It's what's on the inside that counts. But Baby Yoda, or Little Green, has stolen the show once again because his little He's fucking waddle so when he walks around and looking around. And did you notice he, he ate he ate a um, mushroom at the beginning, which yeah. he fed him. And then he was getting ready to eat another frog. And then all the kids were like, ew. And then he yeah. took that into consideration and was out. like, Bleh. So yeah. he's, he's now a vegetarian. Um, the My favorite thing in the whole episode, by far... Mm-hmm was the ATST. That looked fucking good. That ATST when it's like yeah. and then the red the, the red lights in it with an evil yeah. eyes coming through the woods at night. That was terrifying. Now, that was great. Is that is there somebody in that running that or yes. is it okay. That's what I thought. So well, I was that thinking was a big like, thing why I saw. didn't they just steal it? <laughs> like Well they didn't know where it was first off and by the time it was activated they couldn't really do shit about it. I guess that's but, true. The ATST in the episode uh, six, they actually you could see the Ewoks in there driving that fucker. So I don't know who was in yeah. there, but they made sure to not show who was in it. Yeah. Um, but I, th- I thought it was really well done. Um, like it looked good coming through the woods and such. They didn't it did. cut the budget it on did. that. I no. really liked the feel of it, and I was so happy it was an ATST too. I was so happy. I didn't want it a full like what are the ATATs, the big ones, the four legged ones. I wanted something small, and that was yeah. that was intimidating. I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah. That was good. That was perfect. Um, so the uh, the girl that he he uh, ran into, she at first thought he, uh, he was hunting her. Um, what was she, like? What was she a part of beforehand? Uh, she was a shro- shock trooper, I believe. I believe okay. she was. Um, I'm not sure. It, now I'm gonna get blasted again because I always jump to things. But it's either one of two things. Either one, she was like what Finn was, a previous stormtrooper that escaped. But if she was a shock trooper dropping in behind enemy lines, or okay. she could have been. I have a feeling she was more part of the rebellion. And she was one of the people that was, you know, working with the rebellion to reestablish everything. And when they she started talking about we were there, we were dropped behind enemy lines, and we'd fight and all this, and then it became all about politics. And that's when she kind of escaped the whole situation. So mm-hmm. um, I'm not sure which. I have a feeling she was the rebellion side, being a shock trooper. I'm not familiar with shock troopers at all. I don't know all which right. side they were actually on. But she was. She was a hoss. I really liked her. Yeah. She was fucking well, peace. You know, she was in, um, she was a, a pro wrestler and she was in the Fanta- uh, uh, Fast and Furious movie. Ep- number six, I want to say six or seven. I don't know. They're all the Something same. Like that. And anyways, um, so it's interesting because uh, you had made fun of me last time about the robot not coming back yet and he was in a poster. She was also in a poster. Uh-huh. So apparently, like, either... Either these people are going to show up again later on, or these are one-episode posters. Like, yeah. This is just like, oh, just 
just one episode. That's well, it. Well, being eight episodes long, I can understand. If it was 12 episodes or hour long, I can understand a filler. But when you get four hours of content total out of this show, 30 minutes of it, I really wish it wasn't. Hey, hey, hey. this was 41 minutes. It was the longest episode yet. Besides the first one? No, this was the longest one. Really? Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. The, fir so, the first one was 40 minutes. And I'm, then glad, we got I'm glad the longest minutes. episode was a filler episode. Um, yeah. But it it wasn't 100% filler. It wasn't like, again, a Dragon Ball Z episode where Piccolo and yeah. Goku are learning to drive fucking cars. It wasn't that kind yeah. of <laughs> Or fake no, it, dynamic it, or something. It, it, it had, had some an sustenance. emotional, yeah, yeah, it had the emotional connection. And he was going to leave Little Green. And he decided at the end that he, he wasn't going to leave him because if he left him, not only would Little Green be in danger because they knew where he was, but also the people there would be in danger. Right. So he had to he had to leave with him again. I loved, like, you knew that this was going to be an adorable episode from the very beginning he's like don't touch that don't touch that and he's just like picks him up puts him in his arm like a little little nook there like, just a minute I'm, I'm gonna touch this and he's like nope come here <laughs> like, i'm like you're so cute this is this is unorthodox Ooh. for us but i'm sending you a picture that i want you to put up on the stream or on the video <laughs> okay i sent it to my daughter and she hadn't watched a single episode before this weekend and we powered all oh. four of them out oh wow so take a look at that and go ahead and just upload that when you get a chance in the middle of this video. Like, edit that in because that is fucking I, perfect. I will definitely <laughs> edit that in. <laughs> but overall, I still love the show. It's it's amazing. I saw a headline today that said that this is the first Star Wars we've had in a long time that nobody's arguing about. Everybody fucking loves it's it. It's true. It's true. So um, it's actually one. It's a. Uh, it's. Uh, listed as one of the most popular shows of 2019 so far yeah. and we're and it came out in november and it's already like made it up to the top of the like list in the top 10 like most well, popular shows of 2019 and right now it's got a compact dexter feel to it because dexter had eight seasons second season was the best one eight season uh eighth season was the absolute worst second episode of this eight episode series has been the best for me i'm really hoping they nail the landing i still don't get that why you like that second episode so much i really like, enjoy that second episode he gets was, out he tries to heal fine. him and everything and i mean i yeah the jawas? I like that. Like, you, you, yeah, you, you, there's some stuff in there that I like, but I don't stuff feel like it, it, it pro, like progressed as much as I wanted it to. I don't know. I feel like every episode, like... Has its own highlight, and I like that one it, the most. It, it does have its own <clears throat> highlight, but it's also like, not, not that every episode's a filler episode, but there's so... I feel like half the episodes are, are, are like moments that like when he was going to get the egg in your favorite episode and everything mm -hmm. and or trying to build a ship back i felt like that was like point i'm like literally you tear apart a ship just for him to build it back in this episode to me that's a filler moment like you, a filler you, you, moment not an like, episode it it is a filler episode though to me because oh. it was like oh instead of continuing with the journey we have to take this side quest and go and do this before we can actually continue with the journey which again is is what this one was. And I'm not saying all these episodes are filler, but I'm like, I want, what's the, what's so, the purpose? Like, what are we going to? What I already we, told you what what, after we watched the first episode, I already told you, and I'm staying by it. The fallen empire wants to yeah. get the midichlorians or the Jedi force juice yeah. out of little green and to yeah. use yeah. it to clone the emperor. Um, I called it after episode one, and I'm going to still mm -hmm. ride that. I'm going to say it in every video. So when the people are like, oh, man, I knew it, uh, you can go back in my video and see me call it in the first one. So I'm going to make sure I yeah. point that out. Um, this episode was good. It was it was nice. It was relaxing. Um, it wasn't yeah. anything major in there. But it, still, it still had the hand-to-hand -hand combat. It mm -hmm. still had the, the fight scene. It still had the emotional pull. It was a well-rounded episode again, I think. It was. So I don't... I don't have any complaints about this. I think it was. I think it was well done. I I'm gonna try to nitpick Baby the next Yoda. episode. All right, I'll try to nitpick the next episode. Be like they're trying to rely too much on Baby Yoda, <laughs> on Little Green. They're trying to rely too much on this. His this was this was heavy cuteness mm -hmm. on Little Green. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping we'll get more Mandalorian backstory because we haven't gotten a ton of that yet. So I'm I'm interested to know. Do you want a backstory on Mandalorian? I just want his story. Yeah. I don't want the backstory. I want his story, like his story going forward. I don't give a shit about his past, and I don't think you should i think i want to see what him and little green do in four episodes i want to see what happens 
That's all I, I care that's about. That's right. We're halfway done. Yeah, I know. That's why I wanted this shit to pick up. Because the yeah. next one, I think the the one thing you can tally from the end of this episode was he can't escape the people that are hunting it. So the next episode is going to be him trying to find who put it out or be able to find out the reason why they wanted him so that he can actually stop them from trying to care, find them another right. option, something of I, that yeah, sort. Yeah, that, that was the point of this. It doesn't matter where they go that he's going to be hunted. Yeah. Um, so there's <laughs> nothing that he can do about that except he can't hide. Oh, he has to fight. Completely what? forgot. No, when I was watching this episode, 3 a.m., um, after Thanksgiving immediately i was like this is a perfect episode to share during thanksgiving because it showed all the peaceful native americans like oh, farming yeah. <laughs> and then the, the white man coming out of the woods like raiding them and taking all their shit and bombing it and everything and disappearing into the wilderness oh, for god. drinks and alcohol and i was like oh my god this is the day after thanksgiving came oh, oh. <laughs> so i that's picked, hilarious i saw that instantly i was like oh that's good i like that i, I didn't i didn't even see that or think about that <laughs> yeah, the white man the white man and his atsts Oh his guns. <laughs> All right. Well, again, we have nothing to complain about with, with Mandalorian. It's a great show. Little Green is so cute. I, I think he really is a puppet now with a little bit of extra CGI. Just just FYI. I don't give a shit what he is. He's cute as fuck. Um, yeah, I feel like there was a, there was a, a meme that where it was like the Ewoks were like, we're the cutest thing in Star Wars. And then, um, porgs. the porgs, porgs yeah. are like, oh yeah, whatever. And Lil Green's like, hold my beer. <laughs> like, hold beer, on a second. Beard you hold or something like beard that. Beard you hold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but I mean, I know it's, it's, they have to have something cute in there, like mm -hmm. toys and stuff, but I think they actually hit it on the head. Porgs, I didn't really get Ewoks came when I was a kid, so I was like, I got that. Mm -hmm. um, but this, I'm like, as an adult, I'm like, oh my god, I love it so much. Yeah. So, 